channel 16.23 phase open delta. This is a little strange one for you. Uh, Dr. Ken here with you. We are able to use an open delta, only two windings of a three phase transformer in what we call an open delta configuration. And we can still transmit three phase voltage. So let's have a look. Don't forget to uh, do your risk assessment, identify the hazards, nominate the supervision level, uh, the risk class, then what control measures you're going to put into place to manage that risk. So here's the circuit diagram that we're being going to use for open delta. Um, don't be too scared by all the lettering. It's uh, reasonably straightforward. I'll just turn on my pen and basically we're only using two windings. So uh, on the connection diagram, I'm going to show you shortly, sorry, the connection picture. We're actually using A phase and B phase on the primary, and we're also using A phase and B phase on the secondary. Um, our loads are some 30 watt, sorry, 30 volt, 40 watt lamps. Um, across the the output to give it some load um, and we have a 42 volt slash 44 somewhere there three phase input again um, A, B and C our load back into our supply is star and this is connection into open delta the reason we call it open delta is because effectively we have omitted this winding here on both sides. So that winding there is actually omitted. And the arrangement will work as long as we keep a balanced load on the output side. So that's open delta as its name implies. You've got a delta shape and there's a winding missing. That's all we've done. We've just removed one of the windings. So here's our connecting up, our connecting up arrangement. Um, we have our supply. We have our lamps as loads and if you can see down here you can see the B phase not used so B phase windings are not used we've only used A there's the A and there's the B on the secondary the A and secondary the B now uh, if you remember uh, this transformer has a ratio of uh, about 4 to 1. So if I put uh, 40 odd volts in, I'm only going to get about 10 volts out. So that's our connection. Um, we've simply taken the start of the white and the red phase. And you can see I've actually looped them together here. That's what we've done here. We've looped them together and then connected one phase into there and the other phase into here. So nice and easy. The blue phase has come to the center. The red phase is on the red phase and the white phase is on the white phase winding, creating this open loop, oh, sorry, open delta effect. We've done the same on the output side. You can see I've taken the starts of each of the windings here and I've connected them together here and I've taken again the blue and taken that out to supply the load. Then on the red side, I've connected to the red to go to the red load and then finally the white to go to the white side of the load. So our A, B and C and we've effectively excluded all this red winding part.
our transformer as I mentioned you can see here it's a um, three-phase transformer so we've got uh, one winding two windings three windings and uh, on each of those windings there's an internal part which is the uh, secondary and an external part which is the primary so effectively I've got uh, six coils of wire in three sections so the first thing I wanted to point out is that we need to have a balanced load and you can see here if you uh, look carefully at the meter readings they're probably a little hard to read on the screen so I've reproduced them here and as long as your load stays balanced then the input currents stay balanced and uh, if you look very very carefully at the pictures you can see just a little bit of glow and so it's the same amount of glow in each one if you also take note um, which I think I do on the next slide anyway but also the voltage 42 volts and uh, it's reduced down to 10 on the output indicating that transformer of ours which had a 4 to 1 ratio so there you go you can just simply demonstrating that you can put three phase power into a transformer only using two of its windings and still get three phase power out as long as it's a balanced load we unbalance the load we end up with some offset voltages and nowhere for them to go so the next thing I'm doing here is demonstrating on the first picture our voltages around our circuit more than anything else so here we have 41 volts and 10 volts out nicely on each phase you're going to say, Ken, why are you telling me this again? We just did that in the previous picture, but it's important. So, at the moment, our transformer is still connected in uh, open delta. You can see there are no connections to the uh, C phase. We're just using A and B. But what can happen is, if you're not careful, and you get one of these windings back the front, you can end up with some very strange voltages, which is what we've done over here. I've simply reversed one of the windings, and I've still got an input voltage of 44 volts, but look what's happened to my output voltages. I've got 10 volts on this phase, and I've got 18 here and here. So substantially higher voltages, almost double. The voltages have increased by times two on two of the phases. So this is what supply authorities call phasing in. They've got to be very careful to make sure the orientations, the starts and finishes of all the windings are correct. Because when you turn them on, you can end up with these very high voltages on the output of a transformer. Even though it's connected correctly, but if one winding is reversed in relation to all the others, you get these very large voltages. So we end up with this 18 and 18, when we should have had 10 all around which is what we had over here on the previous slide. Now, I'll explain that a little bit further with a phaser diagram. So, here's a normal phaser diagram with all our phasers orientated the right way around. And um, so, volts for A, volts for B, and volts for C. And, of course, these are all nicely placed at our 120 degrees and as long as they all stay at our 120 degrees everything's going to stay um, nice and dandy so if I did a parallelogram for our our voltages we'd end up with things that look like that and that would be our phase and line voltages that kind of thing but what happens if I reverse one phase so what I've done here I've simply taken the B phase and reversed it the other way around I've connected it back to front so it's now at 180 degrees to what it was 
So it was sitting out here, and I've reversed it round. So volts A is still correct. Volts B is still correct, but volts C is now 180 from where it was, which means it's now in here. So this is now 60 degrees. This is 60 degrees. And of course, around here, we have 240 degrees. So now if I was to do a phasor diagram, for example with A and C, I could parallelogram out like this, parallelogram out like that, and can you see? Much larger voltages occur because we've changed this phase angle. If I was to also, let's say, add up B and A, or A and B, then B would end up in here, A would end up in here, and I would end up with another voltage, almost identical. I'd have a, a line and a phase, almost in phase with each other. So you end up with these crazy voltages, and a lot of damage can be caused if you get a winding back to the front or reversed in comparison to the others. So things to remember with open delta circuit arrangements, open delta allows three phase power to be transmitted by using only two windings, but it does reduce the transformer's performance to 57%. A lot of people think, oh, I'm only using two windings out of three. Surely my performance has only been reduced to 66%. No, in actual fact, it reduces the performance of the transformer to 57%. And also, you need to have a balanced load for that open delta to work. And finally, you must be careful not to get a phase winding reversed in relation to the other windings or strange and weird voltages will occur. And uh, in a real world application, true damage will be done. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, open delta, a little bit of a, something a bit different there, that you can transmit uh, three phase power using only two windings of a three-phase transformer.